when it comes to bettering yourself, you always want to have goals. You always want to achieve things. You always want to go with the, the wouldn't it be cool if I did dot, dot, dot. You always actually want to do those. You want to put yourself out there. And for the longest time, I wanted to be really good at a video game. At a fighting game, really. And the fighting game that I love the most, that I enjoy the most, and is one of my favorite games of all time, is Rivals of Aether. Rivals of Aether is just an amazing game. It has everything I want in a fighting game. Unique characters, glorious movement, amazing combos to perform and watch. It has everything I could ever want. And so, for the season of fall, I had an idea where I'm just going to do my best and get as good at Rivals as I possibly can. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to stick it through. I'm going to start entering tournaments and just grind, practice, try to do a little bit every day. And so the idea is to, you know, replace the Minecraft series that I had going on. I'm going to do a rival series every week. I'm going to sort of just discuss a couple of my experiences, show off a combo, a couple of combos at the end, and then that would be the series. And at the end of fall, which, you know, I'll, I'll explain what fall truly is according to science in a second. But at the end of fall, I'm going to look back at the beginning and see just how well I truly became. And so fall, I found this out when I was doing the research for this video. The, fuck. I hit my keyboard with my phone. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of research to be done. But basically, fall starts at September 22nd and ends in December. I didn't know that. December 21st to be specific. So I, I honestly thought it just ended in November because that just... That's when snow happened, at least where I'm from. But, yeah, uh, I'm done with the first week. Today's, like, Sunday? Or, no, today's Monday. I don't know. I'm stuck in quarantine right now because I had a cough. Yay. So, time's just, like, an illusion for me at the moment. But I just, uh, here's a couple of my experiences. I'll show footage in, like, the background as I'm talking about them. So, basically, I learned a lot of the Savanos matchup. Sylvanos is a character that I didn't know anything about. I'll be honest. Uh, there's like, that's one of my two least played matchups in the entire game. The other one being Forsburn, which I also got a lot of experience with. I have no idea how to play against Forsburn. I have no idea what to do. I just pray. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I just hope that I succeed or that they mess up. But I got a little bit of Forsburn experience over this week. I got my ass kicked by some dude named Pillow. Uh, he was a Zetterburn player. Completely destroyed me. I gotta figure out how to, like, get out of the multi-shines that these Zetterburns, that these cool Zetterburn kids do nonstop, because they just rock my shit. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I imagine I'm showing you what I mean right now. I made it to gold 3, which on ranked, that's unranked. So, you know, I was gold 4 before doing this challenge, so now I'm at gold 3. Uh, it's not that hard if you're, like, somewhat competent at the game to get the gold. The goal is to get the like diamond one, I suppose. Get the diamond one or one attorney before like the season's over. That's the goal. Don't know if it's gonna happen, but you never know. Uh I don't play a whole lot of raster, like against raster, though. Uh DI out seems to be pretty good. Uh I encountered a fellow who salt mined me. And salt mining is such an interesting thing where it's like if you know you're better than someone, why, like, go out of your way to try to piss them off? Why, like, try to irritate them? Like, oh, man, me winning is not enough for this guy. Therefore, I have to make him make sure he knows that I'm winning by teabagging and taunting and making fun of him. I don't get it, but this guy tried to salt mine me. Uh, I actually ended up, like, adding him. He didn't comment. He didn't say anything back to me because I asked him. He said nothing. Yay. But, yeah, no, it's like, I am I think we're all guilty of it. We're like, oh, this guy's obviously new. He can't stop me, so therefore I can do whatever I want to him. It's just kind of... Eh, it's something you grow out of, I guess. But I also learned the importance of warming up before I try to play. Because I was not warmed up. I just hopped online and then got my shit rocked by Osilvanos who I probably would have gone even with had I been warmed up. And so he probably thought I was just some scrub, even though, like, 
you know the the set after that the first one we played I was I was pulling my weight I was playing some games making some moves I took a set off them but eh that first set man you got to warm up uh Areno tested my patience and this is a thing that I notice a lot when it comes to like Brawlhalla or just slower games like Ultimate where if somebody's playing slowly if somebody's like not approaching and you're constantly losing neutral for approaching them, just don't approach them. Because chances are they don't even know how to approach properly. They don't know, like, what to do, so they'll come to you eventually, and they'll start making mistakes. Especially when you have a stock up, when you have a stock lead, or even percentage lead. Because if you have percentage lead or a stock lead, and they're not approaching, don't even bother. They can't approach you. They're going to end up pretty much walking off the stage entirely. So, yeah, Reno tested my patience. I am a guru from the Himalayas. I have set myself on fire as a form of protest before. That is a lie, but take it as the truth. But I am a very patient individual. So, at least I know now, like, for when people try to do this to me, I'm never going to feel the urge to, like, oh, man, I gotta get my fix. I gotta play the game. I gotta hit buttons at this guy aggressively. I know that I won't you know, succumb to those urges now. And the last thing I got is, like, I played the most depressing games of my life. Because I, I mentioned earlier that I'm in quarantine at the moment. And it's just a nightmare. I didn't want to be in quarantine. I wanted to be swamped with work. Because, like, I was, I'm, I'm working a lot right now. Well, I was. But I got quarantined for a week and a half. Literally because I had a cough. And, like... I don't know what to do with myself, aside from play the video games, and I got burned out on playing video games. So, yeah, it turns out when you're burned out and you're playing fighting games, it's not a good combination, because you might still win, you might still do good, but, like, it doesn't feel like it. Uh, for example, I played, like, quite a few sets, and I, I wanted, like, a decent amount of them. But it felt like the entire time I was losing and I was completely defeated. And I don't even know how. I don't I don't even know if I was winning. I don't remember any of it. I just remember that, oh my god, I don't want to fucking do this. That mentality. And that mentality is such a dangerous mentality for like a challenge like this. Because I can guarantee that if I wasn't quarantined at the moment, I wouldn't have been burnt out. And I would have been enthusiastically playing Rivals every chance I had free time. But, yeah, that's, like, all I got for the first week. My goals for the second week are mostly just train, mostly just play more. Uh, it's still, like, very early on. I have no idea how many weeks are actually in this. I'll probably, I'll either put something up on screen dictating it, or I won't. I like that ultimatum. But, yeah, here's, uh, that's pretty much it for the first week. I'm looking forward to doing this challenge. I really hope I can achieve my goal. So, yeah. Uh, that's all. Here's the combo video. I got a couple of schnasty ones. Not a whole lot, but, you know. Sit back, enjoy, and watch. Ciao.